A lot of panic regarding the investments, asset insurances, including medical aids. The coronavirus pandemic has a multifaceted impact on the insurance sector globally and locally in client countries with both negative effects and offsetting elements. It is expected that insurers may be significantly negatively affected given that they provide coverage for claims for death, health and other adverse contingencies. What can people do and what can they uh, not do with their personal and business insurance policies during this time? The CEO of Mitsuale Financial Services, Tabiso Duda, joins us now via Skype. A very good morning to you, Mr. Duda. What should people do instead of cancelling their business or personal insurance policies at this time? Good morning. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. And um, you know, thank, uh, we thank you for letting us address South Africa to assist with these issues at this time. But... One of the things that people shouldn't do is, um, you know, the default situation is one wants to cancel the insurance cover um, because, you know, they've got bread and butter issues. They've got their salaries, um, in some cases, reduced to a percentage of what they used to earn. But we, we normally recommend that, you know, speak to your insurers, ask them um, to um, either reduce premiums, which they are in a position of doing, or because some people are not really commuting and using their cars because they, they're on lockdown and working from home, they can structure their cover in such a way that it, it primarily covers um, um, the core stuff such as theft um, and hijack, not necessarily um, the accidental damage element where, um, you know, the cars would be mostly in the garage, for example. So, so there are ways um, and discounts and, 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 and premium reductions that insurers have put in place to try and assist the consumer instead of them cancelling cover. What are the effects when an insurance policy lapses due to uh, non-payment of premiums? Um, I mean, effects are catastrophic, really, because as we know that bad things normally happen when you don't have insurance or your insurance premiums paid. You could have good cover for all these years, and and when you don't pay your premiums on that one odd month, you know something goes completely wrong. So that is why it's important to instead of reducing or rather instead of cancelling cover, restructure the cover uh, for it to meet your current immediate needs, both for your business and for your um, insurance or insured assets. Um, um, so, 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 I mean, the effects are just catastrophic. So it's important that instead of cancelling cover, you, you, you re-look at uh, what options that your brokers, such as ourselves and any of, the, of our colleagues out there, could assist um, clients in being able to make sure that you keep a level of cover while um, reducing the financial um, strain of the normal standard premium that you'd have otherwise uh, have paid. What do the banks expect of a client or consumer regarding the insurance of financed assets? That's a very important point. So um, with typical financed assets, um, there's a clause that stipulates that financed assets must be insured throughout the duration of the, the contract agreement. Now, um, our legal um, 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 colleagues will come in on this on this one, but... Uh, the minute you cancel your cover on an insured or rather on a financed asset, then the, you are prejudicing the bank uh, from a possible risk of loss that they might incur on the asset and with no insurer or intermediary uh, entity that will make sure that they cover for that um, um, eventuality. So it, it is a prejudice to the, to the finance houses um, where <clears throat> should you have an, a loss event, um, their asset, which is technically still their asset, um, you know, would not have the necessary cover. Uh, and that is why it's essential um, for one to be able to not cancel cover, but rather find ways to reduce premium, to relook at premium because of good risk behavior historically from the client, et cetera. So, 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 so we cannot stress it enough. Do not let it cancel or do not let it lapse. Rather, let's find ways of reducing that premium while we're dealing with um, this current uh, uh, pandemic. Tell us what are the implications of not 
having insurance cover uh, for bank financed assets? Um, again, um, the minute um, financed assets um, are not insured, um, the risk to the financiers um, uh, increases because you, do, you, you would not ordinarily have enough reserves to make them good um, on, on, a, on a loss event. For example, um, if, if a business that is in logistics loses a truck, which is in excess of a million rand odd, um, you find yourself in a position where the company, because of the current cash flow situations, one, and two, that they, the asset is financed and it, it uh, should not be without insurance in the first place, you know, you, you find yourself in a very tight space where you don't have the cash flows to be able to make good on the bank. You know, um, your, your vehicle is out of circulation and you cannot um, generate income from that vehicle. So, so, so the implications really are, are, are really catastrophic. So, again, it is key that um, insurers um, speak to us the whole time through this uh, duration. Um, there are means and ways um, that they are trying to assist the consumers at this time. You know, they have also saved um, considerable amounts of uh, monies on claims where um, there is less traffic uh, on the roads, for example, in the, so far as vehicle and asset insurance. So um, they, they do have a little bit of um, um, assistance that they are willing to give back to ensure that um, the 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 business consumer and 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 and, and the normal personal uh, insured uh, family is able to reduce those premiums. So our consumer liabilities waived because uh, uh, the consumer was not able to pay premiums when when a loss occurs. I beg your pardon. Um, the line wasn't so great there. Our consumer uh, benefits waived when when a loss occurs when they haven't been paying. You see, your, your contractual obligation essentially is to ensure that um, during the finance period of an asset, um, the asset is insured. Uh, moreover, the asset is comprehensively insured. Um, um, th that is one of the bases that the finance house had um, issued finance for that asset because the, the risk is taken care of by, by the insurer. So taking away that protection for the finance house uh, or the security on the asset uh, insofar as losses is concerned for the finance house um, by the consumer uh, is something that shouldn't, shouldn't be done at all uh, because it speaks against uh, the finance agreement. So, so, so there is no recourse really that one can go to to try and sidestep the fact that um, they have not um, stuck to their contractual ob uh, obligations insofar as making sure that the assets are insured. So, so, so we have to ensure that you know, we, 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 we assist clients that either moving from one insurer to another, who is probably able to give them a slightly reduced premium, but by all means making sure that the asset is fully comprehensively insured for the lifetime of that finance agreement. Th there is typically, um, you know, better reprieve for people who who have unencumbered um, or, or, or non-financed assets, where they are able to, to to water down the type of cover they have, um, which could significantly reduce their premiums by up to half or even more um, on on those assets. But um, you know that would be normally pre reserved for assets that are not uh, financed. Uh, but speaking to your broker. Speaking to a financial advisor, looking at your numbers is key at this time to make sure that nothing lapses, nothing falls through the cracks. Um, keeping quiet as a consumer, as a business, not talking to your, your brokers and your insurers is, is probably one of the gravest mistakes that you're going to do because you are going to end up with lapses and you are going to be able to be forced to, to, to incur the full expense or, 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 or whatever is required to make the banks good on whatever it is that they had borrowed you. Tabi, so I'm going to let you go, but I'm just curious as to the name of your firm. Financial services companies don't usually have uh, sunny and welcoming names. Uh, just take us through that background in, in telling us uh, really what your firm is about. So, so, so what it is is that um, in most cases, 
uh, insurance businesses are seen to be, um, you know, or rather insurance is more of a grudge purchase. Uh, we, we, we decided that, you know, insurance brokers need to be your friends because we need to be able to assist you in making sure that you make conscientiously sound decisions that are going to protect your assets in the long run. So we call ourselves Mitzwale Financial Services, which essentially means we, we are friends. Um, and we would like to be our, our clients' friends at this time um, and um, assist them through this pandemic. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much for talking to us. Tabi so do that day. You're watching the agenda. Let's take a break. <laughs>